Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Two Attleboro High School students have been named National Merit Scholars. The program recognizes students that have scored in the top 3% on the PSAT. Guidance counselor Julie Little and Principal Bill Rooney spoke more about it. Attleboro High School, we, we really believe in, um, in, in the PSAT. Um, we actually pay for all of our sophomores to take the PSAT. And then from there, what we do is we strongly encourage students to take it during their junior year. Well, the National Merit uh, Scholarship Program was started years ago by College Board uh, to be able to provide an incentive to students to uh, excel on the preliminary uh, SAT. Jimmy Nordberg was named as a National Merit Commended Scholar, which means that his PSAT score was among the top 3% of all seniors in the nation this year. And Brian was named as a National Merit Commended Hispanic Scholar, uh, which means that his score was in the top 3% of uh, Hispanic students in our region. Uh, so both of these students have um, excelled in terms of uh, their academics. Uh, they're also very well-rounded students. Hi, my name is Brian McKeever. I'm a senior at Attleboro High School, and I have been recognized as a National Hispanic Scholar. The National Hispanic Recognition Program, which is a program run through College Board, basically looks at the top 2 to 2.5% two of all PSAT scores, and I had scored high enough in the top 2 or 2.5% two to be considered for this award. Once I was in that threshold, they sent me something in the mail, and I was able to fill out a little application, give them a little more general information. And then from there, a couple of months later, I was notified that I was selected. Hi, I'm Jimmy Nordberg. I'm a senior here at AHS, and I was recognized as a National Merit Commended Scholar. Certainly, any award that you can use to show what you've accomplished or how well you've done helps show colleges what you're capable of and how you are as a student. So I think it'll definitely help. And now what do you want to be when you, when you grow up? I want to be an engineer. We're trying to create students uh, who are well-rounded and um, you know we don't want them to just view their high school experience as starting at 7 in the morning and ending at 1.50 in the afternoon. We want them to be involved in their community. We want them to be involved in extracurricular activities. Um, and both Jimmy and Brian are excellent examples of that. Um, Brian is, uh, is involved in our robotics club. Um, he's also involved in our LEO club, which is a service organization. Um, and he also, in his spare time, uh, participates in Taekwondo. Jimmy is also uh, involved in our extracurricular activities. Um, he participates on the lacrosse team. And both of them have given service outside the classroom to AHS. I think it's a real differentiator between candidates if you have two similar students, you know, similar test scores, similar GPAs, similar involvements. This recognition program recognizes that I had a high enough GPA, I'm at least a quarter Latino, which I'm half because of my mom's side, and I scored a high enough on the PSAT in the top two to two and a half percent of Latinos in this region. Both boys are applying to um, highly selective institutions and, um, but no matter what their career path is, it absolutely opens doors. Um, it, it demonstrates their, their academic excellence and, you know, th they work very hard. And so whether their path is college or career or military, certainly it is something that is a feather in their cap. And it also goes to show, you know, they received excellent preparation along the way um, in their classes and uh, supportive families. So it's all tied together. I think it's hard to pick certain teachers because most of the teachers in general I've had here have all been really good, have all been really helpful. I think probably my parents because my whole life I've kind of been pushed to get good grades and I always read a lot as a kid so I think it's just helped me become a good student. That's it for today's update for WACS News and Austin Ricketts.